Well, another day, another dollar. But why do people say that anyways? I mean, it's not like every day you get a dollar. I mean, usually you get more than a dollar. Well, in our case, we'll probably not even get a dollar today. Pretty barren. Man, I hate Thursdays. I mean, Wednesday, new comic Wednesday, always great, always packed. Thursday, nobody cares about Thursday. This should be like a national holiday for comic shops. Yeah, you're telling me. Yeah, man, not even our boss, Filoni, showed up. Yeah, well, he's kind of catching up on X-Men. He's trying to watch them all before the new series drops. Oh, uh, yeah? How's it been going? Oh, well, he sent me a video last night. Here. It's, it's, it's 5 a.m. And I've stayed up all night watching X-Men. And I'm almost, I'm almost there, man. I can, I can make it. I'm not losing my mind. Uh, yep. Uh, looks like he's doing about as good as he usually is. Yeah, you're telling me. But, man, we're not making any money today. You know what we should do? We should write our own comic, and then make money that way. Write our own comic? That sounds like a terrible idea, man. You realize, like, how many, like, indie comics fail? Well, they only fail because they're idiots. I mean, you and I, we're clearly smart, and we know a lot about comics. That is true, we do. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> you got an idea? I say we divide up the work. You know, I write, you draw, and we'll sell these things like hotcakes. I got a perfect business model. Don't worry, it's gonna work out. All right, man, hit me with a cool new idea that's never been done before. Oh, that's easy. A cool new idea that's never been done before? Alright, let me think. It's gonna sort of throw out some stuff, brainstorm session. No holding back, okay. Um, uh, okay, okay, okay. So there's a farmer guy, and he's like, stranded on this desert planet. And he wants to be a really cool guy and everything. He wants to like, join this like, rebellion that's like, rebelling against like, this sort of like, um, I don't know, in, in uh, like, imperial force or something like that. Um, and uh, maybe later it turns out that he's like a chosen one and stuff like that. Uh, you know, he gets like this call to action and stuff like that. He joins like this cool wizard guy and they go into space and they find this like space station and everything. And um, yeah, you know, I, I'm trying to think of like any movies that are like that or like comics or something. I can't really think of anything, honestly. Oh, my, are you serious, man? You just forget about one of the biggest franchises of all time? Oh, yeah, that does actually sound like Terminator. What? I worried about this. A guy wearing a bat cost. Oh, right. Come on, man. All right, well, okay, what if there's like a guy that doesn't know that he has superpowers and he just like does these cool things and doesn't think anything about it. He's like, oh, I just must have worked out more today or something like that. Or, oh, wow, look at this. Uh, I'm running a little faster today. I must be getting stronger or something like that, you know, but then, you know, I don't know, something happens and you like, like some sort of like, um, like big thing happens. Like, I don't know, like a building falls on him or something like that. Like some sort of like tragedy or something. And he like makes it out alive and he's like, whoa. This is weird, he starts testing it out, and he has, like, superpowers and stuff like that, so... And then, like, you know, he, like, tries to figure out how to be a superhero and everything. Like, maybe at first he doesn't, uh... I don't know, like, he doesn't, doesn't, like, be the, do the superhero thing. He, like, you know, uses it for his own benefit, but then, like, something happens, he's like, Oh, I've gotta be a superhero and everything. Or maybe he, like, saves somebody, and he's like, Wow, this feels good. I should be a superhero, and then, uh, yeah. You know what? That's actually not a bad idea. I mean, sure, it's not, probably not original. There's somebody out there that probably had that same idea, but... You know what? We can roll with that. Get a script written, and then I will uh, do the art for it, and we can sell it. All right, great. You can draw, right? Yeah, of course I can draw, man. But come on, everyone can draw. All right, large comic book empire and free movie deal contract. Here we come. All right, back home. Time to write a script because I'm super inspired right now and don't have any writer's block whatsoever. <sighs> All right, here we go. And time to type the first page. And then after that, the second page. All right, here we go. Almost there. All right, words, come on, come on. Hmm. Maybe listening to some music would help, actually. It's a game of take you care. Yeah, this is actually pretty good. All right, let's see here. Okay. And, okay, all right, first page, first page, got it, got it, got it, all right, all right, type some words, type some words, there we go, yeah, 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 oh, wait, wait, wait a second, wait, wait, hang on, hang on, isn't that new episode of Shogun out? Oh, okay, well, I gotta take a pause for that, I mean, maybe that'll be inspiring too, okay. Oh, what a great episode, I can't believe that guy did that thing. Oh, right, anyways, yeah, the, uh, the, the script, okay, uh, here we go, uh, easy, 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 I've got, got a few words on the page, all right, what, what did I have on the page, anyways, let's see. You know what? It's a great start. It's a great start. Okay, okay, come on. The rest of it. Come on. All right. All right. All right. Just, just one second. Almost there. Almost there. Yep. 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 I can see the story in my mind. Remember the story. Here we go. Okay. Perfect. And, dang it. Stupid brain. Work. Oh. Oh. 
Hey, well, now that I think I've given myself brain damage, I think I now have the story in mind. Ha <laughs> ha! Just make it to the keyboard, everything will be fine. Uh. Ah, yeah, there we go. Ah. Script finished. Alright, here it is. Our first script for the first issue. All three pages of it. Alright, perfect. How did it go? <laughs> it was a breeze, man. Just came to me right away. Went home and wrote it out in like, you know, maybe a few minutes and boom. All good to go. Alright, let's take a look at that bad boy. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Right, yeah. Okay. So, what do you think? It kind of looks like somebody with brain damage wrote this, but it's what we got, so it's what I'll work with. Alright, I'll go do the art. Okay, well... How long do you think that'll take? Please, it's just art, man. I mean, Rome was built in a day, after all. I can do it in a day. All right. Wait, Rome was built in a day, really? Well, you never heard that saying before, man? <laughs> of course it was. All right. Well, it's art time. All right, here we go. Pedal to the metal. I am one of the greatest artists living in our time. <laughs> all right. Oh, hey, do you mind, man? Stop looking over my shoulder. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of that there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's perfect, yeah. Ho, 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 ho. Some of the best art ever. <laughs> Sorry, Frank Miller. There's a new guy in town. <laughs> yeah! Alright, well, after about 30 minutes of work, I am all done. Wow, that was fast. Let's see what you got. Alright, alright, here, take a look at this. And here we are. Dang, how'd you do that in 30 minutes? Wait a second, this kind of looks like the back of Born Again. Oh, that's because it is the back of Born Again. I just want to show you what an average artist could do before you look at my masterpiece. Alright, well then, where's your masterpiece then? Take a look. Uh, is it underneath the school child's homework or something? No, it is the school child's homework. Look at this. Look how detailed that is. Look, you can see that's, that's Paul right there. He's got a, a cool city, you know, to establish the scene. Uh, he just got a hot dog. And there's, there's his friend, Mike. You see how, how different Mike looks to, like, Paul? Like, I mean, like, that's, like, that's a lot of detail. I'm gonna be honest with you. It took... Most of my time was spent just on Mike alone, just like making sure that he looked a lot different than Paul. It was very hard, but it worked out. And then look at that, look, look, they got, they, they, they hopped in the car and stuff like that, but there's a car in front of them. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, what do you think of that first page? I mean, it's like, I mean, like, sure, that, that guy that did the artwork for Born Again was, was fine, but, I mean, like, look at this, there's no way that guy could do this. Yeah, you're right, actually, there is no way that somebody can make such garbage that's so talented like that. Yeah, right? Wait, what? Are you serious, man? Who's gonna want to buy this? Well, we're about to find out. Let's go out and sell these things. Trust me, trust me, people are gonna love this. And if anything, they'll buy it out of pity. Well, okay, that could work, actually. Alright, comics, get your comics. Indie comic right here. Guy doesn't know he has superpowers, but then finds out he does later. Pretty cool, right? Uh, we're giving away for five dollars. Alright, comics. Well, anybody. Comics. Uh, uh four, four dollars. Uh, you know, uh, maybe, uh, maybe... Uh, three, three dollars, um, anybody? Uh, two dollars? Uh, we'll pay you to take it? Wait a second, did somebody say free money? Ha ha! Well, we sold some comics at least. And by sell, you mean that we paid people to take the comics away? Yep. But hey, don't worry, it's part of my marketing plan. You see, they've got the first issue, we gave it to them for, like, you know, five dollars, and now they're gonna come back for more. So, it all works out in the end, right? They're gonna love that one so much that they're willing to pay for the next one. Yeah, yeah, totally. Hoo-hoo, oh yeah, easiest five dollars I've ever made. 